Oh, well, well, well. The news are getting recycled all over again. But more importantly, we've got some really good update today. So stay tuned for that. And of course, if you seek daily Arsenal content, the best place to be, consider subscribing. Why and why not? I mean, come on, we are giving you some best news coming in as we speak. So first of all, let's talk about some. Um, Approaching Arsenal for Brook Norton Cuffey on loan. Now even Chris Wheatley has updated that and let's see whether that will uh, happen or not. But Salah Hatim Baki, who is a member of board of Fenerbahce, Arsenal were looking at a player called as Arda Guler. So according to Radio Goal, they say that, so he says that, of course we do not want him to leave, but he has suitors. We will meet with his father this week together with our president what kind of path will be drawn will become clear in the coming days so looking at some young prospects uh, so many things updated but let's uh, try again for more players so talking about contract extensions well yes uh, finally um week with a five million pound signing bonus which is free and of course Arsenal expect Nelson to sign the contract when he returns from vacation coming in from Santi Ona you better believe this and also Fabrice Hawkins says uh, who is a journalist for RMC Sport he says that Arsenal and William Saliba have reached an agreement on a four-year deal plus one year extension Manchester United and Bayern Munich both wanted to sign William Saliba but hey he is going nowhere so William Saliba and Reese Nelson are going to sign their current contract and we are going to come to know about their contract extensions really really soon. Yes, so Mark Goldbridge, uh, well he actually called out, um, called uh, Fabrizio Romano on That's Football TV. He said Arsenal have a match point with Declan Rice. So, Yes, it looks like at the moment Arsenal's priority is Declan Rice and that's the player that they're really wanting to bring in. And talking about Moises Caicedo, Fabri we've got a couple of updates regarding Moises Caicedo. So Fabrizio Romano says that Chelsea are working to get him, they are there. Arsenal after having bids rejected in January are there. Right now their priority is Declan Rice though. Arsenal looking at two midfielders which makes a lot of sense because of so many competitions that Arsenal are in. But here is some good news. If Kieran Tierney leaves, we've got one player back and that is Takehiro Tomiyasu. So Takehiro Tomiyasu, Mohamed Elneny, Gabriel Martinelli and Alexander Zinchenko will all feature in Arsenal's pre-season coming in from Kaya Kainak. Yes, those players are back <clears throat> and that is really good. So huge update regarding West Ham. They are preparing for the exit of Declan Rice reports Tarmesh said he says that interest in Fulham's Jao Palina also keen on Leicester City winger Harvey Barnes uh, boss David Moyes wants numbers and competition ahead of four competitions next season Roma remain interested in loan for Gianluca Scamaca so huge update regarding Arsenal wanting to sign um, Declan Rice and what that uh, already West Ham are looking for replacements Talking about Timothy Castagne, here's an update from Sasha Tavalieri. He says that Castagne is appreciated by Arsenal's board, which got him from Leicester. The wanted confirmation while they started talks. Foxes will collaborate and speak for a deal. <clears throat> Sasha says that I'm told this deal will take more time than expected as Arsenal needs to fix some priorities. And that is, you know who? Big man Declan Rice. Yes, we're going to feast on some rice very soon. Arsenal fans, be ready for Declan Rice coming in. Ben Jacobs says that <clears throat> Chelsea and Arsenal will pursue Moises Caicedo. Nothing significant in the Manchester United links. Understand it's going to take at least 7-0, 70 million pounds guaranteed plus 10 million in add-ons. No bids placed yet. 70 million plus 10 million 
in add-ons for Moises Caicedo. That is what Brighton will take. Let me know in the comments what you guys really think. Do we need to pay that much for Moises Caicedo? Probably another midfielder in that 11 or in that squad to be fair. But who do you want? Let me know if that's the case or not. Javi Simmons on his future says clearly a lot has changed now. I haven't met or spoken to the new manager yet. I will speak to him and sit with PSV and then decide my future. I'm aware of PSG close to bring me back. But as far as I'm aware, they don't also uh, they also don't have a manager yet. So let's see <coughs> what that will <coughs> well that what that will uh, create. Also, Montpellier president Nicolin on Elie Wahi says that his agent is in discussion with four or five league clubs. We know that he likes Arsenal a lot. Hundred <coughs> percent. Let's see whether that will be there or not. So with this, I'd like to end this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you see regular daily Arsenal content, best place to be considered subscribing. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.